After studying in China for four years, James Munyoki can speak Mandarin fluently. As a student of aeronautics, his main interest was to master aircraft design and use the technology back home. The opportunity was quite, quite good. I, I went in and started majoring in uh, aircraft design because I knew all too well I wanted to come back home and uh, create an impact. Munyoki did just that. He came back to Kenya and founded Swift Lab, a cargo drone company in 2013. Chinese people are quite hospitable and they are so welcoming. And it's because of that kind of environment we, we went there and gained so much that we can bring home today and say we have a drone company and someone else can come back home and say they're a doctor or the, they're running a construction company. The company is currently building and operating medium range and medium payload unmanned aircraft. The drone uses a global navigation satellite system and can fly for up to one hour and 30 minutes. This does up to 70 kilometers of range with a payload of four kilograms. So its wingspan is 1.9 meters and it, it can take off and land vertically, which means you don't, need a, you don't need a runway to operate this drone. This drone, as you see it, it has more than 100 parts, each unique. The wing itself has like uh, 20 to 30 parts. You cannot see it now, but yeah, believe me, there are around 30 parts in here. The autopilot system also has the capability to enable the drone to conduct autonomous missions, meaning it can fly hands-free without using the controller full-time. Swift Lab aims to deliver critical and emergency supplies to people living in hard-to-reach areas, with the farm's mission being to improve access to health care and saving lives. For James Munyoki, building and piloting a drone to support humanitarian and development projects in his own country has been a lifelong dream. We've started seeing a lot of interest in our technology and as, a, as an engineer I would hope to see our technology being used to make impact, make positive impacts in remote areas in different countries in Africa. In Batato life in uh, uh, aviation, it has always been uh, uh, adopting technology or buying technology in aviation from the West, from uh, other countries uh, outside Africa. I think this is uh, a great uh, uh, encouragement to our young people. In recent years, many African students who have studied in China have brought advanced technologies and equipment back home. We have what it takes as Africa to, to build things come up with solutions for ourselves. So if we just get the right financial support, we have the ability to become the next big thing in manufacturing. With China-Africa relations continually deepening, Africa is witnessing more and more young people like James Munyoki contributing positively to the continent's development. Daniel Arabmoy, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.